Hello lovely people, my name is Emma. Welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new. Let's not beat around the bush, let's get right to it. Today I am going to open the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth uh, Magic the Gathering starter kit. I'll be honest with you, I've not played a game of magic for several years. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't, I, how could I resist? A little Lord of the Rings starter kit. Plus, starter kits are always super fun. You get two pre-made decks. You can pick up a buddy and just launch into a game easy. They're really fun for like learning the game or relearning the game if you haven't played it for several years. What is the temperature today? Because I feel like it's suddenly gotten a bit hot. 21. Doesn't feel like 21. I'm sweating. Okay. So here's your box. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And you know what? I pre-ordered this set because of course I did and I saved 4p with the pre-order price. So, Emma wins today. <laughs> Let's just crack this bad boy open. Neat box opening. You may congratulate me in the comic. In the comics? You can congratulate me in comics if you like. I meant to say in the comments. Oh, look at the deck boxes. The deck boxes are really pretty. You got your Frodo, Master Frodo on the front, and the one ring, I assume, well, I assume that's the one ring on the back. Beautiful. Love them. You got your cl little play guide. There's an FAQ on the back. There's a QR code in case you need to know more words. It's got all your basic introductions, your colours and everything. Blue is cursed. We don't like blue. And then... Oh, what's cool? And... Whoa! Oh my gosh. <coughs> it's okay. The packs are sealed up, so they're fine. <laughs> I've just thrown a lot of extra stuff onto the floor. Okay, here we go. No, it's fine. This is what I was going to say. If you play Magic the Gathering Online, Magic the Gathering Arena, you get a little um, a little code so you can play your decks that you have IRL uh, in the game. That's kind of neat. I think I, tr I tried it for like a week or so. I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. I'll be honest, I'm addicted to um, Battlegrounds in Hearthstone right now, so I don't really have space in my repertoire for it. <laughs> Another digital card game. So you've got your little um, explanation of play card, tells you the rules. These are so handy just to have like a little um, guide if you're learning or if you're playing with a friend. I've had like a few people um, say that they want to play but they don't live near people or whatever and like these starter kits, pre-made decks and stuff, you can just pick up and play so easily. If you get something like this that has two decks, you and your spouse, housemate, friend, whatever, can literally just dive in and start learning. It's super easy. And then we've got our token creatures and artifacts. We've got a ballistic boulder, <laughs> which is pretty cute. The art is always really exciting on these. And we've got food. And then we have our token creature, human soldier, and token artifact, treasure. I'm gonna keep getting overexposed. It's because of the daylight, okay? I'm sorry. Um, we have our two very precious shinies. We have our black and red Sauron, the lidless eye. Oh, look at that beautiful sheen. What a beautiful boy. When Sauron, the lidless eye enters the battlefield, gain control of a target creature and opponent controls until the end of the turn. Untap it, it gains haste until end of turn. There is an eye in the dark tower that does not sleep. And then a lovely green and white legendary. We have Aragon and Arwen, Wed. Look how pretty! Some people don't like this Aragon art. I think they're dumb. I think he looks gorgeous. Uh, they have vigilance. Whenever Aragon and Arwen Wed enters the battlefield or attacks, put a 1 1 counter on each other creature you control. You gain one life for each other creature you control. That's pretty big. Aragon, the King Elisar, wedded Arwen and Domiel, and the tale of their long waiting and labours came to fulfilment. Aww, oh, I love them so much. They're so gorgeous, how can you not love them? Okay, and here's the rest of the cards for our two decks. Don't worry, by the way, I am keeping my coffee as far away from me and the cards as possible while I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, let's rattle through some pretty cards, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of pretty, the first we have is Gollum, Scheming Guide. Oh my gosh, it's, <laughs> it's the Witch King. Witch King, bringer of ruin. No living man may hinder me. Fires of Mount Doom! Look how gorgeous this art is! I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Ah, oh, the Balrog! Sorry, I'm like giving it away because I'm so excited to see them. The Balrog, Flame of Udun. 
I'm probably pronouncing these all wrong. I've only seen these things written down. An evil of the ancient world, both a shadow and a flame. Aren't they beautiful? We've got a red goblin assailant. I love a gobbo. I do love a gobbo. I myself, I consider myself a goblin in many ways. The fighting waxed furious on the fields of Pelennor. And the din of arms rose upon high with the crying of men and the neighing of horses. The hosts of Mordor were enheartened, and filled with a new fury they came yelling to the onset. Easterling Vanguard! An army of Easterlings charged forth, while from the hills poured orcs innumerable. I guess reading and trying to hold a card steady. I should be able to do that without looking. I need to practice that. That feels like a, a puppeteering technique I need to master. Feed the Swarm! We have found many of our folk lying slain as they fled thither. Rider of Rohan. Oh, nearly. I kept it a lot closer to the frame that time. The Dunland Crabane. What's that, Strider? It don't look like a cloud. Oh, Mr. Frodo, Mr. Strider. Maybe my Sam voice needs work. Mordor Trebuchet! <laughs> Snarling warg. Look at that. So cool. A shuddering howl broke from him, as if he were a captain summoning his pack to the assault. Oh man, this is horrifying. <laughs> Shelob's ambush. As Frodo ran forward, eager, rejoicing to be free, Shelob with hideous speed came behind and stung him in the neck. Ugh. Nasty end. And that's the end of that, a nasty end for Saruman. And I wish I needn't have seen it, but it's a good riddance. Sam. <laughs> Gothmog, Morgul Lieutenant. Cool Drake, voracious fell beast. Look at that bad boy. He looks kind of cute. Swarming of Moria. Olog High Crusher. Trolls were abroad, no longer dull-witted, but cunning and armed with dreadful weapons. Ah, Oliphant! I like elephants. Cast into the fire. But for Gollum I could not have destroyed the ring, so let us forgive him, for the quest is achieved. Now all is over. Frodo. Ah, oh, Frodo was such a good egg, wasn't he? He was a good boy! Sorcery. Fire of Orthanc. The barricade was scattered as if by a thunderbolt. Air Gobbo! Goblin Fire Leaper! Let us hope the fire now lies between us and pursuit. Come! There is no time to lose. Gandalf. Gobbos! Gobbos! Grishnak, brash instigator. He's a friendly looking fella. Foray of Orcs. Two of these. Two of them now. Mauher, Urukai Captain. I think I had that fella in the Lord of the Rings uh, mobile game. <laughs> We are servants of Saruman the Wise, the White Hand, the hand that gives us man's flesh to eat. Cool guy. Cool guy. Ugluk of the White Hand. I am Ugluk. I command. I return to Isengard by the shortest road. The Mind Stone. I love the art for this one. The years had gnawed at it and violent hands had maimed it. Its head was gone and in its place was set in a, set in mockery. A round, rough-hewn stone, rudely painted in the likeness of a grinning face with one large eye in the midst of its forehead. And we finally made it to our lands! We've got... Evolving Wilds? When winter first begins to bite and stones crack in the frosty night, when pools are black and trees are bare, tis evil in the wild to fare. Wow, 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 wow. Let's put a box together so we've got somewhere to put them. I do have... I do have card holders. Don't worry, they're gonna be safe. But I am going to just shove them all in a box for, for one second. There we go. One Sauron deck. Neatly put away. I promise they will all go into little card holders later. I swear. Deck number two are Ar Aragon and Arwen Wed deck. So I'm guessing this is going to be green-white. I'm sorry, I've got a... I've got the song from Frog Detective 3 stuck in my head. <laughs> oh, it's your boy! Frodo! Determined hero! Frodo's heart flamed within him. He drew his sword and advanced. Oh my gosh! Gandalf, White Rider! Look at that! That's like some Renaissance painting shit! He has passed through the fire in the abyss, and the enemy shall fear him. Oh! Sorry. It's your girl. I got exci I saw her and got excited. Galadriel, gift giver. Galadriel doesn't have any flavour text. It's a bit upsetting, but I guess there's not really room on her card, <laughs> so it's fine. Bilbo's ring! You want to be careful with that, Mr. Bilbo. Knight of the Keep. They rode in, a long line of mail-clad men, swift, shining, fell and fair to look upon. Suddenly they swept up with a noise like thunder, and the foremost horsemen swerved. They sound very sexy, thank you, Tolkien. Westfold Rider! The orcs were greater in number than we counted on. 
Greater Orcs, who bore the white hand of Isengard, Aoma. Eastmark Cavalier. Look at that pretty horsey. It's a little farmy boy, East Farthing Farmer. He farming. Oh, hell yeah, he farming. Protector of Gondor. Two protectors of Gondor. Orcs were digging deep trenches in a huge ring, just out of bowshot of the walls, while the men of Minas Tirith looked on, unable to hinder them. Ah, oh, it's a bit depressing, actually. The Dunedain Blade. That is beautiful. The sword glinted in the westering sun. Emma sipped her coffee. Uh, with much enthusiasm. Oh! <laughs> Second breakfast. We stan. The hobbits of the Shire were fond of six meals a day, when they could get them. Same. Rosy Cotton of South Lane. Ain't she pretty, though? Banishing light. Before all went Aragorn with the flame of the West. And Duril, like a new fire kindled, Narsil reforged as deadly as of old, and upon his brow was the star of Elendil. Brody! Landreval, horizon witness. I love the background. I mean, the, it's, he's beautiful Brody, but I love the background especially in this. He passed over Adun and Gorgoroth and saw all the land in ruin and tumult beneath him, and before him Mount Doom blazing, pouring out its fire. You cannot pass! Absolutely iconic. It raised the whip, and the thongs whined and cracked. Fire came from its nostrils, but Gandalf stood firm. One absolute fucking badass. Look at his little hat. I love him. Mushroom watchdogs. Two mushroom watchdogs. Well, four if you're counting the pictures. They won't harm you, not unless I tell them to. Here, grip, fang, heal. Farmer maggot. <laughs> Woe's pathfinder? Sure I'm saying that wrong. Road is forgotten, but not by wild folk. Over hill and behind hill it lies, still under grass and tree. Wild folk will show you that road. Bag end porter! Dwarves' tongues run on when speaking of their handiwork, they say. Gluen. Aw! Generous ent! This one makes me kind of sad to look at. Many partings. For you in all the lands of the West there will ever be a welcome, dearest friend. Aragon. Aw! Galad Rimbo! Merry! Merry Brandybuck! My dear old hobbit, you don't allow for the inquisitiveness of friends. I have known about the existence of the ring for years. Pippin! Peregrine took. Sam, get breakfast ready for half past nine. <laughs> Stew the conies! Oh dear, Gollum! <laughs> Stew the rabbit! squealed Gollum in dismay. Spoil beautiful meat Smeagol save for you! Poor hungry Smeagol, what for? <clears throat> Butterbur, Brian Keeper. I hope you'll be comfortable. You'll be wanting supper, I don't doubt, as soon as may be. This way now. And now we have our special land. We have Shire Terrace. How pretty. Everything looked fresh, and the new green of spring was shimmering in the fields. And Grey Pelt Refuge. As long as the Shire remains safe, I shall find wandering more bearable. Somewhere there is a firm foothold, even if I cannot return. Frodo. Bloody love the Shire, Gandalf. And then we've got our basic land. Forest and plains. I don't know if I'm biased because I like Aragon and Arwen so much, but I think the green and white deck might be my favourite, or at least more suited to my playstyle. Like I say, I haven't played a game for a long time. Um, but I'm definitely going to drag Matt into a couple of games with me. There you go, two absolutely gorgeous, complete decks. I really think... Um, well, I think first of all that this is good value for money. I really think, as a casual player especially, uh, or if you're new to the game, these starter kits, the full deck kits, are just such a good idea because it's so easy to just pick up and play with a friend. Likewise, if you just want a taste of pretty Lord of the Rings art and some fun flavour text, I think it's a good idea. Do let me know your thoughts down below. Are you indulging? Are you indulging in the Lord of the Rings collection? Do you have a favourite boy? Favourite piece of art maybe that we've seen? Obviously we stand the gobbos. Do like this video if you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss more videos in the future. You can find my other YouTube channels and all my things in the description. Most importantly, have a very lovely week and I will see you really soon.